up guys? How's it going? Today's video is going to be a contour tutorial for my face and basically just my usual routine, everyday makeup type shit. So I hope you guys enjoy. I use the Tardius Pro Glow Palette for my contour and my highlight. The palette's actually super cute. It has my favorite contour shade ever, which is this one right here called Sculpt. So for the highlights, I typically use this one and this one. So all of what I use for highlighting contour is all in the same palette. And I have a NARS Eda brush to do the contour with. I'm just dipping my brush into the Sculpt. I feel like tapping off extra shit will just kind of help you not apply too much. You can start contouring from where like the top of your ear starts. And I kind of just follow that angle. And I like to buff it in like little circles just so it blends out a little bit more. And yes, I do a fish face. So it's still kind of harsh, but I kind of want the darkest part of the contour to be close to my hairline and like deep in the cheekbone. And then just the rest of it, you can just like buff out. And I love this contour shade because I think it's the best like suitable shade for my skin tone and other skin tones. I think it's pretty. After I finish my cheek, I like to do my temple and like my forehead just to match it. Sometimes I'll just like dab my brush onto my hand instead of like tapping off the excess because that'll do the same thing. And I just buff it on to the temple just because it kind of blends everything together. I'll just add a little bit to my jawline also, just like whatever's left on my brush. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in my face. But this side is contoured and this side is not. Contour adds like a lot to the face. It adds a lot of structure, adds more color. Sometimes I add blush depending on, uh, depending on the situation. But I don't know if I would feel like that today. But I feel like something's missing if it's just the contour. I don't know, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna contour the other side and I'm just gonna see how I feel. This side is kind of what I consider my bad side. For some reason, the angle I contour at, it just doesn't look good or as good as this side. Hmm, okay. I love this contour shade. Don't be afraid to take your time and, you know, like really blend stuff out. have a lot of fun contouring just because I can like really tone down the schnozzle. The way I like to do this is I like to like dip both edges of the brush into the contour but then I'll just go like this on my wrist and kind of just brush off the rest and I'll just use the extras on the sides of my nose. Like so. Okay. And I just kind of dust any, like, on the bottom, on the bridge, you know, all that trendy stuff. And I'll have to tone it down with my beauty blender that I used for my face. Just to kind of blend it all together so it doesn't look crazy. I think I decided I will do some blush. For my blush, I'm going to be using this cute little Tarte blush. And I got it from Sephora on my birthday because they give you shit when it's your birthday. And I'm just using this Sonia Kashiuk blush brush and just kind of like buff it pretty much. Oh, I can see. It's kind of something to act as like a gradient from my contour just to help it all like blend together nicely. It adds a, a little bit more color to my face too which is awesome sometimes depending on my mood. A lot of the time I do just want to be like a pale princess but other times not so much. I'm fine with some blush here and there. My contour and my blush is done. Now I'm gonna move on to my highlight. I like to apply it with my beauty blender that's already damp, left over from putting on my foundation just cause it's kind of wet still. So it makes the highlight go on a little bit better. And I like to add some Lock It Setting Spray from Kat Von D on the side that I'm gonna use. I don't know the names of these because I dropped this like two different times and all of the shades just fell out and I had to just kind of put them back in but I'll just point to them. I typically use this shade right here which is a kind of like a gray toned highlight and then I also use this white one. I mix the two 
on my beauty blender. I just kind of go back and forth and then I just apply it to my cheekbone. It like applies on a lot better than it does with a brush for me. And I like to pinch the beauty blender too. And I'll just keep adding more just based off of how highlighted I want to be for the day, I guess. And I just kind of dab whatever's left on my forehead and also my chin just to kind of balance it out. And I add some to the center of my nose too. I just kind of pinch my beauty blender. I like to like dab it on the sides because for some reason I like the sides of my nose to shine. And I just use the locket sprayed and I just spray this little tiny brush that I have from Morphe. And I just dip it into those same highlighting shades and I'll do it to my brow bone just to make everything better, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of try to just connect it to like the highlight that's already there. Just kind of so it goes in like a C motion. I'll take whatever's left and I'll just brush it over like my higher brow bone. I'm gonna do the other side. I'm also adding some to the inner corner. Kind of just tops everything off. Lastly, I'll just take my powder again one more time. This is the Wet n Wild one. It's in Dulce de Leche. I'll just run the powder underneath my cheekbone to try to, you know, carve everything out. Finally, I'm just going to set it. Mm. But this is it up close, if you can see it. I go through mixed phases of doing highlight or if I prefer matte, I'll do matte instead and not have any highlight on my face but I kind of like the way that it looks luminous lately, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial today. I'm so happy that you guys requested this. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any other video suggestions for me. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'll post my name down below. Make sure to give me a follow. And make sure to like this video if you liked it. And also subscribe to my channel, of course, if you're not already. I hope you guys have a badass rest of your day. And thank you guys so much for watching.